Hey everybody, Matt Jackson here at the Micro Factory in uh, Chandler, Arizona, where we've been working on getting started with prototyping of the LM Cruiser. The uh, Aerial Cruiser was the winning design, as I'm sure you're all aware. But uh, long before the Cruiser was selected, we bought this bike here. Actually, this bike was donated, and we bought a uh, relatively inexpensive gas bike conversion kit to throw on here so that we could get a feel for what it's going to be like riding a gas bike, what we need to do with the gear ratios and such. It has the same size wheels as the competition bike. Uh, and you know, let us try out some different transmission options and such. So this particular bike has a uh, belt driven transmission. It's a centrifugal clutch as most of these are. And uh, there's a 5 to 1 gear ratio straight out of this gearbox here, uh, which can only be mounted horizontally. So that presents a few challenges with the initial design of the aerial. With if you go back and you look at the way that the engine cover was shaped, he has a, like more of a horizontally mounted uh, primary gear reduction. So that's something we're going to have to look into. This is also uh, the Chinese knockoff of the uh, Honda motor, so uh, it was a little bit cheaper for our you know, purposes of prototyping. But we're definitely going to be going with a, the somewhat higher quality Honda motor. Um, and you know, it let us change like different uh, rear sprocket situations and change the hub so we could look at you know different hub um, designs and see what we wanted to use. So, along those lines, uh, just today we got in a new shipment of parts that we're going to be using in the prototyping of the aerial. For example, these are about the closest tires we could find to the color in the design. Very close, very pleased with these. I think they're going to be pretty exciting. They're Continental Retro Rides. A little bit thinner than the ones on that Huffy. That, those actually uh, interfere with the chain a little bit. We got some wheels. We're actually going to be lacing our own wheels here. So uh, what that is going to do for us is allow us to use a heavy duty rear hub that this will support having uh, your main drive sprocket for the bike on one side and then the sprocket for the motor. It's got a free wheel built in here, but this means we're going to have to lace our own. If you look at the um, prototype powertrain bike we had, the rear hub for the motor is actually, um, it, it's clamped onto the spokes of the rear wheel, which makes it kind of hard to really get everything in line and get everything true. So this should greatly simplify things. It should be a uh, higher quality, more consistent product in the end. So along the same lines, we've got a uh, front hub to match because we're going to be lacing. We might as well lace both, right? And so this has a drum brake built in. We've got uh, some new handlebars to try out. These should be uh, a little bit closer than what we've been playing with um, to the actual design that um, Giannis came up with. We have a new transmission to play with. This is another uh, Skyhawk model, but it's a bit higher quality than the other one. And it's all gear driven. This is, um, I can actually take the cover off this so you can see. If I can get the cover off, there we go. This actually just has gears inside, so there's not a belt here. So it should last longer, there should be a lot less slop in it. Might make a little less noise. I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted as far as what we find out with this as we go on. And we may even be able to mount this in some other orientations, we'll see. So um, we've got some more bicycle building tools because we really hadn't built bikes here before so we've got a, a wheel truing stand we've got a bunch of inner tubes we've got uh, some lacing tools got seat posts now so this will somehow integrate into the design to hold the seat and the most exciting part is the new saddle this was actually the saddle that was um, selected by Giannis and it was actually one that we had selected independently at the same time. We both came to the same conclusion. This is a Brooks saddle. Very high quality, extremely well known long range touring saddle. It's some really tough leather. It's a very nice design. Looks almost exactly like the one in the model. So very excited about all this. Can't wait to continue getting parts in. Some forks should be in to try out so that we can uh, try to knock out a frame design that will actually fit with real world parts. And um, yeah, so we'll keep you posted as far as what's going on, how this thing's coming together, and uh, stay tuned.